Well, the beauty of Niagara Falls has been calling these past two years, and now the area is beginning its rebound post pandemic. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello, I'm Scott Levin. And a big reason for that uptick in business, which is key to the Falls' success, has been the NCAA tournament. Basketball is bringing more people to the area, but as two on your side's Rob Hackford explains, area leaders expect things to soon be back to normal. Go Spiders! We're here for the uh, NCAA tournament. She flew to Pittsburgh, rented the SUV and drove up. It's been a rebound week for Niagara Falls with college basketball serving as tour guide. When you're that close to something world famous, you hate to miss out on it. The Arkansas Razorbacks have been well represented. Got an off day, figured might as well go see something that otherwise not, might be able to see while we're in the area. In Arkansas, we have no professional team, so we travel well. It's a big deal. We have a storied basketball program, and so up here to take it all in, absolutely. And Destination Niagara's John Percy says the off-season streak has been more than expected. Just in the past week, we saw a huge spike in our visitation at the visitor center, our official visitor center. So we even had a motor coach here that had a team stand in one of the hotels. The bubble of business for the falls runs from New York City into Pennsylvania and Ohio. So having folks from New Mexico and Arkansas is not normal. But with the tournament in town, even the broadcast team came to visit. We're production managers and we are overseeing everything that everything March Madness, making sure everything comes to all the viewers at home. Not only are we doing great sports, but we get to see amazing things like this. The pandemic hit in 2020, right at the start of Niagara Falls season. This will be the third tourist season that we would have been under that um, same restriction with regard to our Canadian guests. Last year was a bounce back, but with Canada set to ease test requirements as of April 1st, the hope is this tournament isn't the last run. You can see that there's a great appetite for Canadians to come over here, enjoy the things. Again, you know, our communities here in Niagara Falls, Ontario, it's really like one neighborhood um, separated by the river. We look forward to that business returning, um, but even in spite of that, or we welcome that, we still look forward to a solid, if not banner year in 2022. We definitely want to see the area and, and uh, these guys want to eat some wings, so we're excited <laughs> to do that too. And as long as their team wins, it'll be good for everyone. In Niagara Falls, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.